fucking linger, man. Yeah, totally. Linger. Hardcore. Fuck. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing tonight? Welcome back to the channel. We are hanging out here at Epcot for another round of Food and Wine Festival. We're going to go check out some new Food and Wine merch as well. You guys make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. All right, guys. So we have made it to the Mexican Pavilion, and it's not overly crowded in here today, but it does seem like they are stretched to their capacity. There is a line to get into the Mexican Pavilion, and it does stretch back quite a ways. So it is a little bit more crowded than it usually is. And of course, here in Norway, here is the line for Frozen Ever After. So as you can see, the line for Frozen Ever After is wrapping all the way behind the Acker House. Quite long, it's about 45 minutes right now, it says. All right, guys, and if you're a fan of the school bread, which I know a lot of you are, as you could see right there, they do have the school bread at this stand in Norway, just outside the Gods of the Vikings. All right, guys, and since our last visit, the Alps stand for food and wine has opened, and this is where you'd find the warm cheese raclette. Blueberry and almond wow. tart sounds pretty good. With cream fresh. Oh <laughs> and another one of the stands that have opened up since our last visit here is the Spain booth. And then here at the Spain booth, they have a charcuterie and a Spanish style paella. Nice. And then here at one of the festival market kiosks, as you can see, they finally have their food and wine merchandise. They have some mugs. They have this sweet taste your way around the world shirt. Looks like a mixing bowl kind of type of uh, deal. Yeah, yeah, pretty much a mixing bowl. Unless you're like me and that's a big old cereal bowl got some coasters here key rings pot holders food and wine festival apron turvis cup and metal and plastic both different designs they do have uh, of course mugs as well yeah, and there's probably just a little bit more mouse gear as well. So we will hopefully stop by there and check it out on the way out the park. So we stopped at the Moroccan Pavilion at their food and wine booth. And Jennifer grabbed the infamous hummus fries. Dig in. All right, let's see. I've been wanting to try these for about a year now. Okay. So, if you've ever had falafel, it's got like, and it doesn't taste like hummus. It tastes like, um, like a spicy hot sauce. It's pretty good. How many James Franco's? I give it a two. A two out of five. Dang. There you have it guys. And if you guys have been looking for the escargot at France and it wasn't here earlier in the year. They have it back. They have added it. Yes. So there you go. Along with opening up the other booths that they were uh, displaying to open later in the fall. It looks like they are adding a couple of things to the menu from the other booths that were already here as well. All right, and we're headed to the World Showplace area of food and wine. 
where you'll find a few different booths. All right, and in here at the World Showplace, you're going to see several different booths. And this one is Fall Favorites. They have a Spanakopita, Fisherman's Pie, and a Pierogi. With several dessert options, wine and beers. Dessert stand, desserts and champagne. Here you will find liquid nitro cake pops. They have, looks like a regular chocolate, a chocolate crumbled with Twix, and a chocolate crumbled with M&M's. A couple of drinks, a frozen s'mores that is non-alcoholic. They have Dom. They have a frozen s'mores with whipped cream vodka. Here at the Apple Seed Orchard, you're gonna find a cheese and charcuterie plate and caramel apple popcorn along with your drinks as well another non-alcoholic frozen apple pie and then here at the mac and cheese booth you're gonna find a gourmet mac and cheese a buffalo chicken mac and cheese lobster mac and cheese and just a regular mac and cheese with sausage and peppers this is where we came to get, to get that gourmet mac and cheese. Real good stuff. So let's get in line. And if you come at the right time, you would see a pianist out here playing on the platform here at the World Showplace. He's not here right now, but they do have a performer in here. Hi. And we are here getting an M&M &M cake pop. So here you can see that they have the cake pops already assembled and then they have the coverings for each cake pop. And then they will cover it in chocolate and then they will cover it in toppings and then they will put it... ...in the nitrous. Let me get a little closer for you guys. Holy cow. Go ahead, Mick. Hey, uh, Thank you. Right. Have a good night. Thank you. Wow. That is cool. What do you think of that? I've never seen that done before. Have you? Mm -hmm. Here, let's go with mom and we'll check it out real quick. And here at the Hawaii booth, we are getting the pork slider to go along with the mac and cheese. All right, guys, and here is the gourmet mac and cheese from the World Showplace. Kahlua pork slider. And what's left... What's left? ...of a... Nitro... Nitro... Uh, so. M&M cake. What do you think about the cake pop? How many James Franco's? Four. Four, Four out of five. five James Franco's. Is it better than the Starbucks cake pop? No, because it has a sour dark chocolate. Oh, I got gotcha. you. That's the only part I don't like. So I love this mac and cheese. We gotta do this to our mac and cheese. It's like a garlic infused, like creamy ricotta almost. Herbs ricotta is what it's like. I give that mac and cheese. Five out of five. Five out of five James Franco's. Way better than For sure. I know this was a disappointment. Way better. Get your pork slider. Good stuff. Indeed. All right. I'm going to dig into this Kahlua pork slider on a Hawaiian sweet roll. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. That's where it's at. This is delicious. There's How some... do you think it compares though, like, to the white pig? White pig has the best slider that I've ever had. Yeah. That's like a five. Okay. This is like a four. I call it a four. But as far as like what's an Epcot, this is definitely a nice try. Give me a napkin, please. They're like we have napkin shreds. We are out of napkins. I got pork slider all over my face. And they use the napkins, guys. <laughs> All right, and I'm trying a small bite of the chocolate nitro cake pop. I don't like it at all. Hmm. Nothing really special about it. It tastes like chocolate cake. That well, was good. That's not bad. Not bad. I'd say two or three. Three out of five James Franco's for me. I'd say I'd say three. Three out of five James Franco's. Alright guys, we're about to go on to journey into imagination with Figment. It's only a five minute wait compared to 75 minutes for a frozen ever after, 50 minutes for test track. This is only five, so. This is what we're riding today. All right, of course, here's the Imagination Institute wall with the inventors of the year. Nigel Channing, Philip Raynard, and Dr. Sidlinski. All right, guys, so here's the ride vehicles for the figment ride journey into imagination and uh, Disney's got something up their sleeves if you guys haven't heard already they are in the middle of redesigning figment Or you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, and I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. Tastes like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Hello? Who is this? It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. All together, if you would please read line three. <laughs> With F I G L E N T, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. What's for the light? Can light your fans. Come on in! So, what do you think? 
Imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast! in tonight's ride itinerary is living with the land five minute wait let's hit it and my personal favorite one of the best walls here is this fire going into rain and snow Tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are yeah, and it's called a fluted pumpkin. And that banana tree is getting kind of big, and there's bananas there on it, as you can see. And these are used in all the resorts and restaurants, right? Yes, all of the Disney-owned uh, restaurants, correct. Mm -hmm. Of course, they do have uh, the food and wine decoration up here at the front that would let you know normally that you've arrived at Food and Wine Festival when you enter into the front of the park. As you can see now, it's still a mass construction of walls even messing up the good view of the the globe they do have as you can see the new light pylons installed here these tall light pylons these are new i think they're kind of futuristic kind they of look cool kind of like lightsabers yeah really cool I didn't know. I thought these were speakers, but they're bird feeders, you said. Yes, they are for uh, birds that uh, migrate down here to Florida every year. Purple Martins, I think they're called. All right, guys, and the next and final stop for this evening. We're going to go check out Mouse Gear and see what festival merch they have in stock. So they don't have any of the figment food and wine merchandise here like I thought they would. What? Which seems kind of strange. Yes, she does. But these are the pass holder exclusive salt and pepper shakers. I like them. Pass holder turvis. What's it called? 
Purvis cup. Purvis. And a food and wine. It's heavier than the one last year. The last year, last year was really, really light. I loved it. They have a couple of more things that the the uh, one stand that we stopped at. They have the silicone spatula. They have, of course, iPhone cases, pot holder and dish rag. On this side, they have some cool food and wine pass holder cups. And you can only get these if you are a pass holder. They will ask you for your AP pass when you go to check out. They have a Remy, they have Mickey Mouse. Minnie Mouse. But what I do not see is the figment stuff, and that kind of surprises me. There's also some pass holder exclusives. This is a tray that you could walk around with here at Food and Wine, and it'll hold your drink. Then you have a serving tray as well. It is. Yeah, it is because uh, they noticed that everybody was coming out and basically eating at the trash cans yeah. with their plates. There was no tables available. Uh -huh. So, you know Disney. Serving tray. Hold your cup, hold your drink, regardless of what size it is. It could be the wine glass or one of the bigger cups. And a little serving tray to put your food. It's only $13, so if you come a lot, it's worth it. All of the Cook pass holder shirt. And then some other pass holder exclusive stuff. There's like a serving tray down here shaped like mouse ears. A magnet. That is really cute. Yeah, scanning around, I do not see any of the figment food and wine stuff. Look at the baby Yoda bags. Though. Oh yeah, the baby Yoda lounge fly, lounge fly bag. He's so That's cute. Always, him. He's fun. Oh, and he's got a little frog. Look at that. Ball looks awesome at night, even with all these walls up and around. It looks spectacular. I don't know if you could see them there. You could see them a little bit. They're pretty, they stand out pretty well. There's the new pylons. Amazing. I love it, guys. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, guys, it looks like that's going to be pretty much it for tonight. We've walked around, had some good food. The crowds weren't that bad by around the time that we got here at 5 o'clock. 5.30. So it was really kind of uh, quite bearable. There were some lines to get into Mexico and and uh, some long lines on rides. But we primarily just came down to Epcot to have dinner and walk around a little bit. So mission accomplished there. Okay guys, so that was our quick walk around for dinner on Labor Day at Food and Wine Festival at Epcot. Wanted to thank you for hanging out with us this evening. And uh, don't forget, like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your family and friends, hit that notification bell. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Stay excellent. Good night. Good night.